In today's episode, we're going to go over how easy it is to use drone technology and the IBM Watson visual recognition uh, technology from IBM Watson Studio to make it easy for a small business, a mid-sized business, or an enterprise to leverage the power of artificial intelligence. So here's the experiment. Uh, IBM sent me, full disclosure, I'm an IBM champion, which means that I recommend IBM products and services, and my company, Trust Insights, is an IBM registered business partner. So should you buy anything uh, through us from IBM, we do receive financial compensation. So IBM sent out these drones, the DJI Tello drones. You can see uh, a, a short clip of me flying one here and a, a sample of some of the things that I was taking photos of. I'm using Google Photos to, to offload the drone photos from my uh, smartphone because it's instant. Uh, the moment you, you, as long as you're on Wi-Fi, it uh, goes right into the cloud. And then you can pull uh, data from Google Photos via the API. So you can see I've got a variety of photos here, some with uh, solar panels on the roof of my house and others that are just general neighborhood photos. In visual recognition, once you get your data, you can decide what kind of model do you want to create. I went for a custom model because there are, are general models that describe like, hey, here's just uh, what's in the image or faces or food. But I wanted one that was very specifically about if I give Watson something to recognize what will it come up with? What will it say uh, it, it, it has or has not found? So you can see here, I've got a bunch of different um, uh, photos here. I've got some negative photos, uh, meaning that these are photos that do not contain uh, the, the target outcome. And let's go ahead and take a look at what the model looks like. So I'll click on Edit and Retrain. And what we see is here are all of the photos that I've chosen that show this is what solar panels look like. And these are the ones on the top of my house. And then here's a whole bunch of here's photos that are similar houses, but definitely not solar panels. And then there's a bunch of other photos in here, like uh, random things, me in a Halloween costume, etc., to give Watson a sense of, hey, these are all the things that are not solar panels. So if we go and click on trained, the model is has been pre-trained in the past. And I go ahead and click test. Now we have an opportunity to drag and drop photos in to see if Watson can tell the difference. Let's start by putting in a picture of my house. Now this is a very different picture than what was in the training library. This is the very back of the house, and you can still see, we can tell as humans there are solar panels here, but the vast majority of the roof does not have solar panels on it. So that's clearly uh, a photo that's slightly different. Let's put in a picture of uh, someone uh, having a mistake. Let's put in a picture of something that's rectangular. Uh, you can see there's a, a thing that it could be interpreted as a solar panel. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see what else. What other things could we put in? We could put in uh, this picture of slides from a presentation, a conference presentation. Uh, and you can see this one, this detected solar panels here. Clearly not solar panels here. Not solar panels here. This one is an example error. Uh, it looks enough like a roof that we would need to add this to the negative library and say, nope, that's not what we're looking for. Here's the power of Watson Studio and the visual recognition service. When we have something like that, where we know this is an example of something I don't want, I go ahead and upload the image, and I add it to our model. Go into the unclassified images. We take this image and we classify it in the negative model, saying this is not solar panels. And then we hit retrain. Now you can see, I have written no code for this. I have clicked on, I have not had to use my keyboard even once. I've just dragged and dropped the things that I want uh, to train this model on. Now the applications for this are legion. If you are doing any kind of visual inspection, so if you are, for example, a business that deals with auto insurance claims, you can show a whole bunch of front impact crashes or back uh, or bumper impact crashes or things that uh, were spurious, like uh, false claims, and be able to build a library of photos taken with smartphones, taken with drones, taken with anything, and use it to help classify uh, whether or not something is, is real or fake. If using a drone of some kind, 
you could uh, fly over and take photos of trees. Is this tree healthy? Is this tree not healthy? Once you've used your domain expertise, uh, you could, as an arborist, fly over an entire neighborhood and identify those uh, those properties or buildings where there is unhealthy uh, growth, and you can uh, make recommendations like, hey, we can see from above that uh, there are some issues here. Uh, you can use a drone for traffic recognition. Is this pat traffic pattern a, a good one or a bad one? Uh, you could obviously diagnose people's cars from the air if you wanted to. Um, but the power of Watson Studio's artificial intelligence is that it is so easy to get started. It is so easy to train a model. You drag and drop your pieces together and let Watson do the heavy lifting. So give it a try. You should enter IBM's competition. Uh, it's open till December 14th, 2018 to win a drone, one of 1,500 uh, DJI Tello drones, and try this out yourself. As you can see, we're not using anything super technical or super complex. We have the drone, which connects to a smartphone. The smartphone connects to Google Photos. We load the photos up and bring them into our model, train the model, and then have it do its recognition. So it is easy for you to get started and try out the service. All you need is an IBM cloud account and you can set one up to uh, trial one up for uh, for free for 30 days on cloud.ibm.com thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel and our newsletter want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems visit trustinsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you